If you ever want to get anything done, you're going to have to get started. You just have to try something and see where it goes. I had an idea that I wanted to write a set of songs. I committed to the idea and then I did the most important thing. I just got started. You know what? I think I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try and make a commitment to myself and do this. Sometimes, to get stuff done and to actually make something, you have to push yourself to actually do it, not just wait for it to happen. A massive part of me just feels really motivated right now. This was the last day of our holiday. Now, throughout the week, I had been kind of toying with this idea that it'd be nice to take some of the ideas I'd had and some of the inspiration I felt throughout the trip, and when I got back, turn them into some songs. I came back feeling so inspired. And that's why I got started, because I just didn't want this inspiration to go to waste. Now, I figured that this is actually the perfect place to start. What you're about to see is the footage of me actually writing the song. The inspiration for this song actually came from the video that you've just seen. While I was editing it, I found some inspiration that I wanted to write about, which is what I'm about to explain to you right now. I took this walk on this public footpath through a golf course, found this little cove, this little beach. Later on, because it was our last day in the holiday, uh, me and my other half decided in the evening to go for a walk together. And I took her to this place. We basically just sat there, took in our surroundings and just enjoyed being there. That was a really lovely moment. So I had this idea in my mind about, you know, like creating a moment, making a memory, this kind of thing. Now I had an idea to get started with. I needed to come up with something musically that fit the vibe of what I wanted this song to turn into. So the first thing I was thinking was what can I play that has like kind of really quite laid back, relaxed vibe. And I've had this thing that I've been noodling around with probably for like a year now or so. And it's essentially, it's just an A major chord. It's taken from the C shape of the A major chord, played there. But I just like playing it with the open A string to add that bit of bassy tone. And what I've been doing is just adding this thumb to it on the 10 frets, making it into like a D, I suppose it's like a D major nine. This two chord progression ended up evolving into me just playing an A major seven chord, going to a D major seven chord. This really did fit the vibe of what I wanted this song to turn into perfectly. With the lyrics, I've started off with just the idea of saying, remember this moment, because that is the entire point of what I'm getting at with this thing. And then immediately I went to remember this time. So that's what I've started with. Remember this moment, remember this time. So it's got that pattern to the da 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 da. Da, 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 da. What could work with the word moment? So I, I just went with it'll be over and then straight away I came up with in the blink of an eye. The verses have just ended up being kind of like telling the point of the song, which is to take stock of these moments as they're happening. But the pre-chorus I decided I want to actually talk about this particular moment. To do that, I wanted to use some sensory language so it kind of hopefully put the listener in that environment. Trying to describe what we were taking in at that time, so... Uh, listen to the sound of the waves Feel the breeze on your face Breathe in the sea Remember you and me After these pre-choruses, and it just felt like musically there needed to be a change. One of the things that worked really well was to go from an F-sharp minor to an E major to a D major chord. We just had this nice descending feel. Yeah, there's something that just kind of happened, so I went with, um, so... The last bit is, um, you and me will be home, saying where the time go, cause we'll be home, but we have this moment, but we have this moment. And I like the idea of going to the minor four chord because, you know what, I know people use it a lot, I use it a lot but I like it. This shift in the music and this descending thing that's happening inspired this refrain section, which is soon gonna be known as the chorus. I didn't realize at the time that I was writing the chorus to the song. What this song is essentially about is you want to be able to look back on these moments, these important moments in your life. So you have a specific thing to look back on. So the chorus is looking through the lens of a future perspective, like looking back on these moments. So at this point, I had three parts that worked together that I knew could be expanded upon. I needed a fourth section, some form of like a bridge section, something to add some form of contrast to the song. I was thinking that it'd be nice to change up the progression, so it still is the A kind of thing, but then I was thinking just to give it a twist, I might do, um, go into a G, need to kind of open it up to make it sound like it gets bigger, so like um, A. So 
sorry. And then to the five chords with the E. Stop now taking what you see uh, We should make some memories Now I had all the parts of the song and I knew all of the parts fit together properly Structurally, the song was really simple It's just verse, pre-chorus, chorus It does the same again, verse, pre-chorus, chorus Then into a bridge section, back to the chorus But whenever I looked at these parts at this point, all I could see was the amount of work that needed to be done. Each of the parts that I'd had were just ideas. They needed to now be written. It was so tempting to just say, I'm happy with what I've got, I'll come back and finish it another time. But I also knew that I was only thinking that because I knew there was the hard work to come. I didn't want this inspiration that I'd felt to go to waste. Right, I'm thinking, let's just keep this simple and get this song done. It's not a good idea to get too precious about making sure that everything is perfect. You just need to get it done. Right, so I've just spent a bit of time now, not long, but I've just spent a bit of time fleshing out the ideas while I've got the flow going. I've doubled the verse and I've written two of them. Remember this moment, remember this time, it'll be over in the blink of an eye. Remember this moment, remember this time, a time to look back on for the rest of our lives. I've got a second verse now, which is kind of along the same lines, so it's the same kind of thing. Remember this moment, take a snapshot of time, try to take notice of all the good things in life. You've got to focus on all of the good times because they'll be over in the blink of an eye. It's simple to the point of what I want this song to say. I kind of want the pre-choruses to be a little bit different both times. Listen to the sound of the waves so when we're listening, feel the breeze on your face. So again, another sensory kind of a line. Breathe in the sea, just you and me. So it's quite simple. The second pre-chorus started kind of similar, but this time a bit different of listen to the sound of the sea, feel the sand with our footsteps, drinking the view just me and you. I don't think this is perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I definitely think it needs work, but it's it's at the point that I'd want it to be out of this stage. So this has all started with just a simple little idea that I had when I was on holiday that I'd like to take some of these flashes of inspiration that I had while I was away and turn them into something. It wasn't like a fully imagined song in my mind. It was literally just an idea, and I wouldn't have had this song if I hadn't just committed whilst I was there to turning some of these ideas into some songs. Not all of your ideas will turn into something, but you won't know unless you give it a go. It's just a starting point. Then you have to actually sit down, get started, and start crafting that idea into something. Because it might turn into something, it might not. But you've got to get started and commit to just having a go. I hope you've liked this behind the scenes of writing this song, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Remember this moment, remember this time, cause it'll be over in the blink of a